Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 3, and uh, last episode, uh, Kenny and his gang, they took um, Eren and uh, Historia away, and they revealed that Historia is a true heir of the royal family, um, they reunited her with Rod Race. Which I'm assuming is her father, and uh, there was an awesome fight with Levi and uh, Kenny, and yeah, oh, I mean, kill somebody. Yeah, so that's what happened. And uh, before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and please consider supporting on Patreon at patreoncom slash So yeah, let's start this episode, and here we go. Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. But they didn't. She didn't. Did she slap her? Wow. Wow. Kenny. <coughs> He's gonna deny her. Wait, is there somebody there? Oh, son, is so that the guy's name. He didn't do anything. Ralph. Yeah, you betrayed it. Mm hmm. Anji. Why? Where does he say that?
Oh, so he's the vessel. Girl, calm down. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to follow that conversation again because I didn't totally get it. About what? So the sub is coming. My word. Uh, I don't know about that. But for her. Oh, but the son did see it happen, so they knew it wasn't him. When did this agree with him being, them being behind it? He turned around. She got it. Oh, what was the question that you asked? Oh, it's it. 
So, this episode was uh, like a whole bunch of information that I think like I'm trying to have. I'm having a hard time like passing through it and remembering it and everything. This episode was like a whole bunch of information. Like backstories on on Historia and uh Irwin. And then I had to go back and look at that scene of when Hanji was explaining to the others why he said Erwin will be in and she said that Imi, at first, she was Italian, like, like women around, being Italian, and then she ate Reiner's friend, right? And because they have the ability to, like, they're humans that turn into Titans, because Imi ate him, that's why she was able to turn back into being a human. So, because Erin has this the power to control the Titans if the government has a Titan that eats Eren, then that power is transferred to that Titan so they'll be able to control, I guess, all of the Titans, right? Hmm. And then it turns out that the king is not really supposed to be king. Like, is world race that's supposed to be and Historia, that's supposed to be queen. And now Erwin wants to overthrow the government, so she, he wants to place Historia as queen. Now when they went to that backstory of uh, Historia, she lived on a farm with her mother, oh my gosh. That scene he just like threw her away and said I should have killed you. What made her hate Historia so much? And she was calling Historia's father master. So clearly she was working for him, right? The thing is, I don't want to believe her. Did, did he rape her? And that's why she doesn't want to have anything to do with Historia. And then when um, they said that Historia was living with her mother for a long time, for however long that she's been alive, and then Wal Maria broke down, and that's when the father came to try to get Historia and the mom. But then again, Kenny just like, nope. Probably, he was probably sent by the current king's people or whatever. And then, they, why do they not, is it just like greed people not wanting the true royal heir to be on the throne or is it something else? Is there another reason that they don't want them to assume the throne and this king use Kenny? to intimidate world race world race <laughs> i don't know why when i like think of his name i think of world race uh -huh. so he used kenny to intimidate them <laughs> he killed the mom in front of his story i'm like yo why do they have to be so brutal in this, man? And then to save Historia, the father is like, she's just uh, gonna go and live in a faraway land, live like, I guess, uh, another a normal life so, so that she doesn't bother the other people. Ah, nah. So what changed now? And he sent. But then again, that doesn't make any sense either. If Kenny is the one that sort of like intimidated roadways to, you know, I guess send his story away, why would he send 
um, him now to go kidnapped and bring Historia to him. Historia and uh, Aaron. Why would he want to do that now? Unless he was still being pressured by this current king. Yeah. <sighs> so many questions. And then there's the backstory of Erwin. And the thing is, his father was a teacher. He was teaching history. And they're like, okay, one day to escape the town, so everybody like just like hold up in the, inside the walls. And then their history was sort of like forgotten. And now the government just sort of like gave them this. It's like he, they erased their memories. So that people don't know what happened before. So they are sort of like easy to control while living there. And because the father told Erwin that Erwin is going around telling other people, like his friends and everything. And then the government heard about it and they killed his father. And I guess he was hoping that his father died to I don't know. Like, he knew that the government didn't want this. Like when you're getting close to the truth, like you're disappearing, dying, whatever. But I guess he thought that they were protecting this big secret. But it turns out that they were just trying to protect their way of life, their lifestyles and everything, their fortunes, the way they're living. So that right there is what made Erwin, like, want to go after the government and just, like, overthrow everything and get the truth out there so that, I guess, people can make their own choices. Oh. And then the one they killed, um, the, the merchant, they trying to pin it on the scouts. And then, like, they arrested Erwin. And Erwin's like, I'm just going to take sort of, like, the blame of everything, you know? He's gonna go with them, but then before he left, he told the I'm guessing the wife of the merchant that he was gonna make whoever did the pay, and uh, that would be Kenny. So he said that, and then before they took him over, he also gave command to Hanji, like he's now like the commander of the scouts. And Commander Pixis is also in with the plan of overthrowing the government. And when Erwin said that they were going to do this without any blood being shed, I'm like, are you for real? Like, that's not feasible, at least not to me. There's going to be some blood spilt over this. Um, what else? Oh, there's so many things. I just scroll through the episode real quick to see if there's anything else that I should mention. I don't think there's anything else apart from the fact that um, Armin and the others came from the town and they saw like all these bent, uh, flowers that were being handed out about them being captured and everything. And then Sasha hears footsteps, and I'm wondering which footsteps. I feel like I'm gonna assume that it's Hanji and. Uh, her second in command because it was the only two people that were coming right so yeah I have so many questions man but uh, what, what does all this mean man who is this fake king that's keeping the race's royal family down like, where did he come from? What does he know about the walls, the titans? What does he want? Does he just want Eren because Eren has the power to control titans and he wants to have that power for himself? Or is it because of something else? There's something else behind it. You know? And why are Reiner and Betorto so, like... Why is his story that important to them specifically? Because we know based on what they're saying, not based on what, like we know that she's the royal, true royal blood, or whatever she's supposed to be, like the real queen. But what does her being queen? What does that mean to them? How is that gonna help them? In you know, questions, man. I want answers. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, that was a much of a reaction. <laughs> 
So this is a bunch of talking and information being dumped. But yeah. So give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by checking out my Patreon. I'll be trying to all slash for everything. So yeah, I'll see you next time.